हेलो एवरीबडी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुधाकर राव नाईक इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी पुसा टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अल्कलाइड्स सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द अल्कलाइड्स दीज आर द प्रिंसिपल्स विच आर प्रेझेंट इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स अँड ॲनिमल्स so these alkalides they are important for therapeutic utility they are present in plant in very small amount so the objective of the today's learning is you will learn the definition of alkaline and the physical and chemical properties of alkaline what are the alkaline the definition of alkaline alkaloids are the basic nitrogenous compounds of plant or animal origin and generally possessing a marked physiological action on man or animals when they are administered internally that is the alkaloids are the basic nitrogenous compounds which are obtained from plant as well as the animal origin maximum amount of the alkaloids they are obtained from the plant and they possess a marked physiological action on man or the animals when they are given in very small amount why the name alkaloids are given to them so alkaloids they are the alkali like alkali like and hence they resembles some of the characteristic of naturally occurring complex amines so the name is given alkaloid that is the alkali like some exception to these definitions are there all alkaloids are nitrogenous but not all the nitrogenous compounds are alkaloids plants are rich source of alkaloids but some have been found in animals for example muscopyridine of musk deer and some of the fungi such as the ergot alkaloids this is the exception to the definition most but not all possesses the basic properties due to the presence of an amino group but certain are amphoteric example is the cephalin and cyclotrin and colchicines and ricinin so all alkaloids are nitrogenous but not all the nitrogenous compounds we can call them as an alkaloids now the reflection part pause the video and think for a while and write down the name of the plant having the chemical constituent present as an alkaloid and which are used for the therapeutic utility i think you are write down the names of the plant having alkaloids and their therapeutic utility now start the video so the chemically heterogeneous group of the natural substances are the alkaloids more than 6000 basic nitrogenous containing organic compounds more than 6000 basic nitrogenous containing organic compounds are present occur in about 15% of the terrestrial plants which are present on the earth in more than 150 different plant families the alkaloids are present alkaloids exhibit diversity of structure and also shows extraordinary spectrum of pharmacological activities there is a they can be used as an acting on the central nervous system cardiovascular system and acting on the other parts that is they shows a wide spectrum of activity alkaloids they are important for chemical physiological taxonomical and also they for the biogenetic studies they are useful the term alkaloids cover true alkaloids proto alkaloids and the pseudo alkaloids or one can say that the alkaloids can be broadly classified into three categories they are the true alkaloids proto alkaloids and pseudo alkaloids true alkaloids they are the toxic in nature contain heterocyclic nitrogen which is diverted from amino acids always they are the basic in nature as per as the definition normally present in the plants as an starts of the organic compounds so generally 
the nitrogen the nitrogen it is present in the heterocyclic ring and they give all positive test for the alkyl and they are basic nitrogenous in nature next one the proto alkyls or the amino alkyls these are the simple amines nitrogen is not in a heterocyclic ring sometimes consider as an biological amines basic in nature and biosynthesized from amino acid in this case the alkyl it is not present in the heterocyclic ring it is outside the nitrogen it present outside the heterocyclic ring these are the basic in nature and biosynthesized from the amino acid example is the muscaline colchicine and ephedrine next one that is the pseudo alkyl that is the false alkyl includes mainly steroidal and terpenoidal alkyls and the purines they are not derived from the amino acid do not show many of the typical characteristic of the alkyls gives the standard qualitative test for the alkyls so they do not give the standard qualitative test for the alkyls they are the tests are the negative for the alkyls examples are the conicin caffeine and aconite properties of alkyl physical properties they are the colorless crystalline solid with sharp melting point or decomposition range they are the colorless some alkyls are colored in nature for example betadine which is red in color and berberine which is yellow in color some alkyls are amorphous in nature also some are the liquid and volatile in nature example is the nicotine the salts of the most alkyls are soluble in water free bases are insoluble in water and their salts are also very sparingly soluble in organic solvent some of the pseudo alkyls and proto alkyls shows higher solubility in water these are the physical properties next is the chemical properties most of the alkyls they are basic due to the availability of the lone pair of the electrons on the nitrogen due to the lone pair of the electron on nitrogen they are the basic in nature the basic characteristic of alkyl compounds is enhanced if the adsorption functional group are electron releasing group if the adsorption functional group is electron releasing then the basic characteristic will get increased the alkyls turn to be neutral or acidic when the adsorption functional group are electron withdrawing like amide group alkyls with basic characteristic are very much sensitive to decomposition and cause a problem during their storage last one that is their salt formation in the inorganic acid prevents many times their decomposition so for the storage purpose they are extracted in the salt form chemical tests which are used for the identification of the alkyls mayer reagent that is the potassium mercuric iodide solution gives a cream colored precipitate dragon drop reagent it is a potassium bismuth iodide solution it gives a reddish brown precipitate wagner reagent iodine potassium iodide solution it gives a reddish brown precipitate and hagar reagent that gives a citric acid and citronic acid it gives a yellow color precipitate so this is the introduction part of the alkyl next is the classification of alkyl alkyl is basically classified as an pharmacological classification economical classification biosynthetic classification and chemical classification which we will study in the next session thank you very much